Okay, I've made the preparation. I uh, want to make sure that the there is enough opposal reduction. Uh, fight, please. Fight. I want to make sure that there is enough opposal reduction. Okay. Uh, open, please. And I made sure that the uh, margins on the on the tooth is. Uh, now I take the impression impression that I've taken and I'm going to put the acrylic material in there. Uh, we can use either, uh, this is temp span from um, uh, from Pentron Clinical and this is uh, Centrix Access which is also the same. Uh, I believe 3M also has it. So any any one of these injectables I'm going to go ahead and put the um, I'm going to go ahead and put the acrylic material into the impression material as you can see uh, it's a little overflowed not too much I'm going to go ahead and just put the impression material back in the mouth and we're going to we're going to extrude some, uh, as you can see here, we're going to extrude some just to make sure that uh, it is ready. Uh, we just check it here. It usually takes about uh, three to five minutes or less. About two. Two to three two minutes. To two to three minutes. I'm going to make sure there's no excess into the patient's throat. Let's keep checking here, it's getting harder. So I'm going to wait another, uh, another minute. I'm, uh, anytime I have a root canal treatment that's being sent and I know that the crown is going to be changed and there's decay under the crown, I immediately take an impression and put it aside. If I don't use it, that's fine. Uh, most of the time I do need it. When I'm done with the root canal treatment, do the buildup, I bring in the impression. Do a rough prep, uh, make a rough wrap under the microscope, I make the temporary like I'm doing now and I send it back to the referring doctor and the referring doctor has a lot less to do, the decay has been removed, the buildup is done, the root canal treatment is protected, we know that the tooth is restorable, so all of these have been addressed while here at the end of the office office. Now if you can see here a beautiful impression of the preparation and it's probably going to take a minute to prepare this for the temporary crown. I'm going to go ahead and remove the temporary like so. because it's thin and the rest I am uh, going to use an acrylic but now I'm going to do
I'm going to clean the uh, prep edge with the acrylic burr. And I do this under the scope. Make sure I read the margin correctly. Of course, you don't have a scope, you can use your loops. If you don't have your loops, you can do this with a naked eye. And again, it's just a temporary, so it should be okay. Remember, this was an impression taken when the patient came in, so the occlusion, there should be no occlusal adjustment needed because it can fit perfectly. It's just a duplication of what the patient had as far as the occlusal anatomy. We just refined the prep, and that's then. Now, as you saw, it literally took maybe about a minute to clean that, and then once I put it in the patient's mouth. Like now, tap, tap, tap. The occlusion should be good. The fit should be really good. And the patient is ready with a temporary. Of course, I'm going to cement this with temp bond. Now, let me have a hemostat, please. want to make sure that there's no excess temporary material in uh, grooves of other teeth so that the occlusion will fit well. I'm going to cement uh, with tampon. Because the fit is really good, there is really no need to put a whole lot of cement just a little bit to coat the inside and I usually do not want to uh, put cement right at the margin because uh, that's going to flow out when the patient bites down. Bite down please. Okay, good, thank you. Okay. Again, tap, tap, tap. Articulating paper just in case. On the temporary, there's some here. I want to make sure that it's not high. Tap, tap. Okay. Okay. We're flossing. And after. 
that I run the floss and I'm going to run it through instead of pull it back out. Temporary is still pressing there. there's articulating marking on the canine, the lateral, the central, the second bicuspid. Okay? So it's easy, uh, quick, and it's good. Thank you.